Oh man, Frank, you're back from Sequoia, huh? Right. How was it? Very nice. Weather was beautiful. Too so many bears? A lot of hiking. About four bears. You know, yeah, two right in the campsite, or like beyond, just beyond it. Really huge. And the last minute, it, no, they didn't. No, they like uh, grass and berries more than. <laughs> Like, I'm cool. like jerky to them, you know. Well, I was in, I was in uh, Pennsylvania for a convention too many games, and now we're back oh. for the Frank Crate for June. It's a little, right. bit of, a little bit of a lighter month. I haven't checked my P.O. box in like two weeks, so probably July is going to be heavier. Okay. But this is, this have... is not light. The Pacifico right. beer of the beer month, of the since, month. I, since I, <laughs> I skimped last month on it. Pacifico. Very good. So why do you like Pacifico so much? It's, crisp, it's a right? perf perfect crisp summer lager. And summer's here. And there it is. Really good beer. I mean, I like it. I mean, everybody likes something different. You know, it's a big IPA thing now. Patty gave you a 12 pack. They're like, well, that's good. <laughs> Did you go? Hopefully, you went to uh, Rite Aid. Well, uh, it was all right. The deal. Here's yeah. a postcard. Uh, this is from New Mexico. Yep. It's from Brett F. There's a Roadrunner on the front there. State bird in New Mexico. Did you ever see it before? The Roadrunner? Oh, yeah. All right. This is a Dear Frank and Pat. Greetings from Albuquerque. You guys are pretty cool. Frank is especially awesome. Oh, more than me. Thank you. Thanks for the great video. Sincerely, Brett F. P.S. More fully market matters. Ooh, that's my fault. No, Frank's getting out there. There is a new no, one. No, I don't go that much, and that's my fault. Well, I'll, I'll do it more if that's what oh, you guys oh, like. Oh, it's on tape now. But uh, Well, if you guys like that, I mean, that's what I'll do. There's one coming out, though, that was filmed like a year and a half ago. It was like late 2014. Well, okay. That's coming out. Um, that'll be out soon. Uh, yeah, well, there too after you see this. It's like one of those movies that are so bad that's on the shelf for three years, you know, when they want to release it. Let's go over okay. the, one, the one last month we forgot about. Which is the box, yeah. Okay. So this is from who? This is from. Frank got this one, I think he opened it up and showed me. And I was like, Frank, we never opened that last uh, month. This is from. Kryptonite, Kryptonite collectibles, collectibles in Wisconsin. Uh, from Wisconsin. In Wisconsin. So and let's it's show. A, this was for Frank, but. But I think. Yeah, maybe I'll save it. I won't have to buy anything for Christmas for Pat. You want to show him what it is, right? And there it is. It's, it's Voltron. A Voltron pop figure. These are really pop with the pop figures. They do right. everything. They do movie characters, superheroes, TV shows. And Voltron, so Voltron is what, a video game character? Voltron was a Japanese uh, cartoon. Oh, okay. In the 80s, it actually came over to the U.S. And they're like um, Defenders of the Galaxy. They all each have a, a cat vehicle, and they all combine to form a robot to fight other big... Uh, monsters. So, so they, they have like a sci-fi Godzilla more thing, but out in the universe. Um, and then Power so Rangers... like a Transformers? Not exactly. So they're cats. So like, so there's like, one cat is the two arms, oh, two got arms, it. and okay. the main one. And they come together. So I had these toys as a kid. I had a 12-inch I oh, really? uh, die-cast one as a kid, or plastic one, but they right. had different sizes. They had the action figures. It wasn't the most well-known cartoon. What year are we talking We're about? We're talking like 85, 86, okay. around there. Um, so this, the fact that they sent this to Frank is just funny because I'm a huge Vol, uh, Voltron fan. And it's also funny because why, Frank? You teased me about Age of Ultron. He was, oh, Ultron. I would always say it's Voltron. And, and he would and he goes, no, him off. And, and then this came and I said, see, it's Voltron. <laughs> so this, so, so we're actually going to pile through the loot crate real quick. They didn't sponsor this video, but they're, they're going to be back on next month for their gaming crate. So I figure we'll, we'll do, uh, you know, we'll do real quick. Uh, what we got here. Oh, they've been listening to us. How about, how about a Robocop shirt? Oh, that's, Luke Craig. that's cool. And this is actually addressed to Frank, so this is technically a Frank thing right here. Uh, we got a Matrix. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. A Matrix puzzle. All right. We got a Fallout collectible vinyl figure. These are new ones. So they have the pop figures, and they have Dorbs, which are like little munchkin looking ones. This is a, this is a, a really popular video game series. Takes place like you know nuclear fallout. Okay, so, so I'll take your word for it. And uh, here's the pin of the month. Oh, I always Dystopia. like the pin. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at uh, that. It's a spaceship. Uh, a blank key. An so, old school style. Frank, Very nice. A it, no, it isn't a spaceship. It's something else. It looks like a, a missile oh, launcher, like or something. a bomb or something. And a blank key from Bioshock Infinite, which is a game that came out a few years ago. If Let's you want, see. if you need a new uh, van key, Frank. There oh, you go. I see. You can get your a key made on this blank. Oh, that's and interesting. a metal. Terminator head, like Let's see. To, to hang, I guess. Uh, so, mass. hell, why not? If you want to subscribe. Oh, is there two of them? Uh, there's, there's one. Don't don't break your fingernail. If you want to, if you want to do it, promo codes Frank. You'll save ten percent. I'm sure the code's still good. Right. Uh, so, uh, so thanks to Loot Crate, still sending me these, even though they're not doing the sponsorship. But next month we'll be back for the gaming crate. 
So, oh, so that's so, so I'll, I'll let I'll let them slide right now. All right. All right. So what else? You want to do there? the poster? We have a poster and something else. Let's do the poster first. I'll uh, put this back. That T-shirt was kind of cool. That's pretty cool. Well, it's like yeah. that's yours. Now you can have all that. Oh. Yeah. So this is a poster. This is from uh, uh, PosterArthouse.com. I guess they specialize in posters. Right. So we don't know who it's from, but thank you anyway. Right? We don't know who it's from. Oh, uh, baby. it's a map. Oh, you're killing me. Now, why do they send this, Frank? Did you did you mention this a month or two back about Middle Earth uh, post a map? Oh, we, we were talking it. about maps and how it's kind of cool, like a made-up, uh, when they have a fantasy story that they're so into, they make a map up of Point the Point to the Shire, place. Frank. Where's the Shire? Oh, right you're there? killing me. Like somewhere on the West Coast, probably. Oh, yeah, I got it right there. And then where's uh, Mount Doom? I don't know. I need my GPS. That's probably the East Coast somewhere. Oh, is it all the way over here? Uh, it's, I don't know. It's right there, is that it? I don't know, I don't know. Anyway. If There's Fangor. <laughs> you like the Lord of the Rings movies? Uh, yeah, they're okay. They're a little long, and um, I didn't like that. I thought the second one or the third one was too much about that little sleaze bag. You know what is it? Two called? towers is too much about. Uh, uh, what the hell? Yeah, is but that? then I heard that that's Smeagol. that that that's Smeagol. right from the source oh, material. Yeah, they, yeah. they, they stay so most, they stay mostly faithful. I really can't complain because that's always my complaint with every other movie. Yeah. So I and then can't you say have everything. And, and then you always say famously, why don't they make uh, more movies from books? Well, there you go. They there can't. I go. So it's hard to complain. So. But I did like the premise, and it also was the premise for Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, and yeah. All that. They just had to change. Uh, they couldn't use, uh, uh, what are the little guys called again? Like the orcs? The, no, the little... Oh, the hobbits. The, the hobbits they, they, like they couldn't halflings? use, so they quite to call them halflings. Yeah, they used orcs and everything else. But all the other names they were able to uh, use, um, you know, basically uh, that's what it was. Uh, they were really popular, uh, the books, in the late 60s, early 70s. Why? As people enhance their reading well, oh, capability. Well, they smoke and themselves. <laughs> Gandalf was smoking. Well, that's them. what they people, were. when we re they read the books, that's what they thought. That they, oh, they're smoking too, and, and you know, By blah, way, Frank, blah, blah. What do you think of the beard, Frank? Yeah, it's good. Okay. I, I feel like I haven't seen you in a long time, because it actually is a beard now. <laughs> you were able to it do wasn't, it. It wasn't the And last... he followed my advice about mustache and beard. There's a real secret. You got to listen. What's the secret? Stop shaving. Uh oh. Okay. We got one more. Okay, we got one more. And this is from Brandon Mullis from North Augusta, South Carolina. I spent a little time in South Carolina. Looks like you wrote rat. There. No, it's Pat. Oh, no. rat content. Um, a little time there uh, going to school uh, in oh, Columbia. Oh, it's a book. It's literature. And it's. Oh! Wow. A bird watcher's adventure in tropical America. Very nice. Thank let's show, you. Let's show them the oh, and a note. Yeah, you want to read the let's note? Show them, show them the book, Rick. Right? There's the book. So it's a novel, or is it a? It's it's a chronicle, a chronicle. of his bird watching adventures, which I which I you know I love the birds, and you guys I appreciate that because you guys you know know that. This is on Fox Broadcasting Company. Uh, Notes right here. Oh, a big a wheel. We, uh -oh. Are you a big wheel uh -oh. in Fox? Hey, let's, let's get a, let's get Frank. Let's get a here. meeting let's here. Get a, let's get a meeting. We can pitch <laughs> a pitch meeting. Is we'll, that we'll what do, they call them? We'll do lunch. Uh, yeah. Pat and Frank, I bought this a couple of months back, and I'm finally getting around to sending it. I'm a bird lover like Frank. Oh and wow! I really hope he digs it. Frank, what's a bird you've never seen or heard sing in person that you'd most like to? Let's see. I've never seen a flame, uh, flame-colored uh, tanager, which I always try to see when I go to Southern Arizona. Oh wow! That's one. And um, I did get a glimpse of a scissor-tail flycatcher in uh, the Midwest, but never saw it. I never heard it sing. So there's a lot of stuff out there, of course. Um, you know, off the top of my head. That's what it is. I never saw a great gray owl either, which I have. It, I want to see. Um, and friends of mine from the neighborhood moved to South Carolina, and they've been sending me info about the bird watching there, which seems really nice. Uh, a lot of stuff in your south. Oh, and that, the uh, the painted buntings. Uh, I've never seen, which I hope oh, wow. to in my midwestern travels. Those birds that play baseball. Uh, <laughs> because they are nice. Pat. 
I heard you say on the podcast last month that your birthday is May 9th. Mine too. 1980 here. Well, then maybe we're, maybe we're clones. Who knows? That's kind of weird. Please ask Frank to give a shout out to Leyland Cawley, whose game collection will never be as cool as mine. Ooh. Hi, Wayne. Waylon? Waylon. Waylon. Hi, Waylon. How you doing? Uh, I guess you got to work a little harder on your collection. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe that means he's getting out more meeting people. Depending on your, maybe right. he should be. Maybe, the, yeah. Maybe and uh, and also, it also could be an opinion. Oh, uh, uh, um. It's objective. <laughs> yeah, it's that the, seems like a subjective. It's the quality of the game opinion. collection, not the quantity. That's what I would Right. Think. You would have, well, well both, both is though. good, but yeah, so uh, there it is. You think I have too many games, Frank? No. No, not because that's what you want to have. Now, if you think you have too many games, then I, you have too many. I might have too many games. Okay, well then, okay. then I, you know, what am I, <laughs> who am I to say? So that's from Brandon. But I would only think the collector, that's up to the collector to know so, whether there is too many or not. Two things uh, before we get to, and eh, we'll just do it now. So if you want to send stuff, Frank, for the next, Frank Crate, thank you guys so much for sending this stuff. Yes, and always appreciate right it. It's Frank Crate, Care Pack Country, PO Box 7695, San Diego, California. Nine two one six seven. Uh, two two announcements. Frank and I will be at the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo in City of Industry. Really? Yeah, oh, that's you're right. Committed. I'm committed for that. <laughs> you're committed. Man. That's August twentieth and twenty. See, that's what he does. He gets me the beer, loosens me up a little. Frank made this conversation something, three months ago, and and then all of a sudden he tapes me saying something. This is the first time we've announced this. No, I'm kidding. And then go to SoCalRetroGamingExpo.com for information. And then I'm going to have a Comic Con panel. And I'm getting Frank in as my cameraman. That's how I'm getting Frank. You got to well, carry that stuff that day. You got to carry the camera. Lift and tote. That's lift my and lot in life. <laughs> I do it all the time. So that it'll be. I'll be used to that. So. Um, and I, I thought I was actually be on the panel, but then I was just going to say no comment. He was going to say, "Hey Frank, what do you think of the video game crash of 1983?" No comment. <laughs> You thought it was the President Reagan crash of 83. Yeah, crazy. well, he would just say, I don't recall. I don't because recall. it's not really like saying, I don't, I don't remember, yeah. or he doesn't have to lie. Like, you know, they don't want the president to lie yeah, too they, much. They all do, right? I think it's part of their job. I mean, let's say they have a was, covert uh, uh, a mission going on. They have to lie about In it. In retrospect, was Nixon as bad as everyone said he was? Oh, yeah. But did he, well, to me, because I was a uh, did he, did he, I was a war protester, and the generations were were very separate at that point, uh -huh. more than even now, and you didn't trust people older, and he did a lot of bad things. Well, did like, he do like Medicare stuff though in the U.S. and yeah, he did he preservation he stuff, bombed Cambodia too, and lied about it. You know, I mean, we were focused on that, and when you're 19. You know, Medicare, you're not sure, I mean, you don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. The way that I'm sure there's something going on now to preserve something for this old man that some about. young kid doesn't care about, sure. you know, but to me it's going to help me because I'm old, you know what I mean? Medicare benefits or something like that. Uh, what, do you think of, what do you think of Johnson though? Johnson's the one that got us into that mess to begin with. Well, actually... Actually, well, now you're really going off uh -oh. Uh -oh. because uh, <laughs> because now this you're will talking. Be a new podcast. Now you're talking about Kennedy wanting to pull us out and 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 getting shot about a week before he proposed it, and then Johnson was all in, mm -hmm. and then well, well oh, there was varying opinions on it, and there was a lot of lying going on, and it was a country the size of California with you know. You know, minimal weapons. I don't even see size the reason. California, right? Yeah, I mean, you're, you know, you're going way back into the past uh, here. We're going to have an acid flash. Yeah, back. yeah. Well, yeah. When I get a freebie, I'll call you. <laughs> um, all right. Well, but yeah, uh, yeah. They all did good things and bad things. I mean, um, Nixon. I mean, for all what he did, I think he also set up the EPA, the Environmental Protection That's what I mean. Agency. Oh, yeah. So double check that. So. Um, but all the presidents, you know, they do what they can because they're victims of the other, for, uh, the other branches of government and need to, and have to compromise even with, with within their own party to get a vote for anything. They have to say, okay, they'll do this, mm. and that, and then of course what they really believe in is a little watered down. But that's democracy. It's sort of a, 
you know, a stew. Yeah, he expanded Medicare and then the EPA. Yeah. That was his two probably biggest domestic. Yeah, well, and then he also, remember, he opened up China. They always talk about that. For trade. But the problem was that he was really a paranoid guy, and even though he was going to win in a landslide, they still did dirty tricks to beat the other side, and then taped it, and then lied about it, and mm. then he had to quit. Well, so the cover-up's always worse than the crime. Right, well, yeah, and the crime was bad enough if you read the book about it. It wasn't just the Watergate break, and that was like, as they say, the tip of the iceberg. Oh, right, well, we're gonna we're veering off into... Yeah, France. right, well, that's Frank's, what I said. You got me going. I did, you asked me questions like Frank's that. Frank's political uh, podcast will do. We'll have oh, get no, Frank on oh, two hours. stop, no, we'll talk no. About Bernie versus Hillary versus Trump, and that'd be fun. <laughs> God, I, I, no, I, no, I don't need the headache there. I'd rather read, I'd rather read universe. a couple of chapters of this and talk about birds in the tropics. All right. We Much got, more interesting. We'll cut it off here, but uh, we'll be back next month, so. We'll, Adios, we'll, we'll, and thanks for everything always. Yeah, and we'll give you a Comic-Con recap next month, too. Oh, that's right. Okay. Bye.